Hello, this is Mark Wildman of Wildman Athletica. And today we are going to talk about our adjustable height box squat alternate options. So in previous video, we have talked about how to get your squat depth lower. This idea originally came from something called dinosaur training, which I read about in like 2004 or something like that, where you control the height of a heavy load one inch in depth increments improvement every week so that you can build a super heavy weight up to a full range of motion. We don't use that activity for barbell. We do it with kettlebells and clubs because you can still do them in confined spaces and you can do them in fifth floor walk-ups in New York. I was asked by a viewer to give an alternate version to the mat version that we did and we are going to do the plate version. Plates are everywhere. You can do this exercise now in a gym. Any gym you go to, probably won't have a bunch of uh, gymnastics mats lying around that you can stack up to do this. So this version is gonna use CrossFit bumper plates essentially in order to accomplish the same idea. So this was the idea originally, was using these mats and then flipping one mat off each time in order to get the height lower and lower and lower so that people could learn to get lower and lower and lower. What we're gonna do today is we're going to use these plates instead. So let's demonstrate. We are going to do a shoulder width wide kettlebell bottoms up goblet squat for this uh, demonstration. Kettlebell, pick it up with good technique, 90 degrees in the arms. At the bottom, we are gonna have our elbows track inside of our knees, shoulder blades back, stand all the way up. If you're feeling frisky, the evolution of this is to go down, rock back, lift your feet up, and stand all the way up. Kettlebell, two hands on, bottoms up version, all the way down, lift the feet up, stand all the way up. Down, lift the feet up, stand all the way up. Now, with these, we can configure and change the height of this box by controlling which plates are going to be in which place. The thickness of bumper plates varies a bit based on what company you're gonna get them from. You can kind of generalize this, but if you wanna just start, go ahead and measure them. This thing is an inch and a half thick. That is a 10 pound plate. Our 25 pound plate is, well, let's call that two and a quarter. It's a little bit less than that. Make the math easy. Our 35, three and an eighth. And our 45 is just a little bit over three and a quarter. <clears throat> Measure the plates at whatever gym you're at and then figure it out. You're gonna have to do math. I know it's terrible, but you'll figure it out and figure out how to get the height that you need to start at. Start above what is uncomfortable and then try and take it down the smallest increment you can, which would probably be the 10 pound plate and figure out how to reorder those plates every week. Do your squats twice a week because you're going beyond your normal range of motion, something that's uncomfortable, make the rep sets lower. So instead of doing 100, do five sets of five, Pick one weight and do it until you can get your tailbone almost all the way down to the ground. You should definitely be lower than me. I don't squat as low as I should because I've had three knee surgeries on my left knee, pretty serious ones. So I squat low compared to most people, but you, if you don't have any knee surgeries, should squat way lower than me. You should squat all the way down until your booty is on your heel. And that is so that you can carry that range of motion through all of your activities, building up to our single leg kettlebell pistol squat. The reason we focus on that super low range of motion is specifically for me because we do martial arts for movies. So when you're coming out of a roll in some type of stunt, that's the range of motion that you're using. 
So you should not expect to be able to effectively do that range of motion if you don't train it. If you're doing barbell low back squats and you're squatting to that specific range of motion for powerlifting, do not be surprised if you couldn't do the judo ninja roll over a table, hit the ground and come up running because there will be a range of motion in there which you have not trained, which would then become a danger for injury when you're doing something that's that fast and that ballistic. So getting our squat lower has very specific purposes. It has very specific purposes for me, but in general, the more range of motion you have out of your leg is more important. Moderate weight, more range of motion versus super heavy weight, more limited range of motion in my mind for my clients in my philosophy. The way that you think about it could be totally different. This has been Mark Wildman of Wildman Athletica.